In this video, I want to show you how you can create a graph that emphasizes one or a few columns or bars as part of the graph so that the audience's focus goes straight to there. So this is an example here where wiring is the issue, so we want to show that in a bright color and the rest of the values in a more muted color. So when we create a graph in Sheets, the setup of the data is a little different. Instead of having all of the values in one data series, you have to have a second data series for those you want to emphasize. The reason being that in the graphing of sheets, it doesn't allow you to select a fill color for only one of those columns. You can only set it for all of the columns. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the graph this way. I'm gonna select all of the data and I'm gonna say insert chart. And the chart that I'm going to select is not one of the recommendations, is I'm going to select a stacked chart. So if I wanted to do it as a column, I would do stacked column. I'm going to do it as a bar here. So I'm going to select the stacked bar chart. And the reason is that now we have two data series with different colors. But the reason that this wiring starts at the base is because of the way we've set up the data. So I'm going to insert this chart move it over here. So I want to emphasize again on the data, what you're setting up is these cells that you do not want to value have to be blank. No data in them at all. Not zero, because if you put in zero, the data labels actually will show up later on. So you want to make sure that it's absolutely blank. Now when we format our chart here, we can clean it up to get what we want. So I'm going to select my chart and go to the top drop down in the top right, advanced edit and I'm going to remove the chart title, remove the legend because it really doesn't give any uh, true information for us here. Keep scrolling down here to the axis of so the horizontal axis. I don't need the title here and uh, I don't actually need the axis labels either because I'm going to use data labels. So if you want to get rid of the axis labels, what you have to do is you have to set the font to none. So it doesn't, it, there's no space that you get from it it's simply removing them. And then the grid lines, again, if I want to get rid of those, I set the color to none. So that's the horizontal axis. On the vertical axis, again, I'm going to get rid of the title here. Of course, I need the labels here. So now in the series, I can add data labels to all of the bars. So we can do that for all of them. But then I want to change my data series that has most of the bars in it because I don't want this to be a bright color. I want it to be a muted color. So I'm going to set the fill color to let's say this uh, muted gray. And now, and then it, again, the emphasis, if you wanted to change it from a red to another color, let's say a uh, dark blue so that it stands out that way, that's easy to do as well. So now what we've done, I click on update, We've created our graph that has an emphasis on one of those bars, but it shows the other values as well. And then to copy it to our slides again, we just simply drop down and say, copy the chart, go to our slides and say, paste. You can use the shortcut key if you want, say yes, link it. And now I have, resize this, now I have my chart that emphasizes that the cost of the wiring is the big issue that we want to talk to the audience about. When you move to a professional presentation program like PowerPoint, it's a lot easier to create these sorts of graphs because you don't have to use two data series. PowerPoint allows you to modify the color of just one of the bars or columns in a graph. It also allows you more flexibility in terms of the positioning of data labels and other formatting of the graph.